My name is Ricky Wilson. I'm the owner of Deep South Audio and Custom, Life at Ricky's Productions, and Ricky Save the U Team. And I'm coming here today to share some of my vision with outside, outsiders. You know, outsiders meaning people who are not in my circle. Uh, I, 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 I have did all my work for 2011. Man, the car show was awesome. I got to see a Lamborghini, you heard me? I got to sit in that thing. If only I would have had a story, I would have drove that thing around the parking lot like six, seven times, you know. Oh, I still ridiculous. had fun. What's your favorite car you saw? Well, my favorite car I saw was a big monster truck. It was beautiful. Oh, no, that's, that wasn't the favorite car I saw. The favorite car I saw was the go cars. Because they were really fun, and they were just like golf cars, but only fun. The man let us ride in it, and all the sorts of things. They had let us have fun. And some of, some of us was racing. <laughs> he was racing with the go cars, the golf cars, I mean. And we just had so much fun. And that's all I have to say. We can say to you, Dee. Finish up. I'm out. I'm life what you go through determines where you're gonna be so if you go through some hard times you deal with those situations you go through some soft times you deal with that too you got to take the punches when they come and you got to be prepared spiritually and mentally and, and in the world we're living in today as young people you know I, I, I look at the world that these young people are getting killed for simple things you know I had a friend that died for some $300 ties I had another person get killed because he had a safe with no money in it. You know, bragging, I got, I got my money in the safe and, and you, you, you know, you gotta watch what you tell people. You know, you tell people all these things and you, you, you think it's gonna be something to make, make you, you making yourself feel good by saying it, but then the next person is thinking the negative way. So, I'm here to tell all my viewers out there after I started my youth program in 2009, I really, 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 really loved the, what I was doing with those kids. And still, still, I mean, you know, I'm gonna get to the point of that, but I started this, this program with my El Dorado. You know, I sold my car. You know, everybody was like, man, wh wh why you gonna sell your car? You know, something came and just went. And I was like, man, but what made me sell the car is I just was watching how I was riding with people that had nice cars. I was like, you know, we riding in the city, you, you, you ride and enjoy your car, you ride and you, you come across this yellow tape. You know, and then you, you, you ride next week, you come through this yellow tape. And this yellow tape is crime scenes where people get killed. I would get out of my car and watch the police pick up a body of these young people in my car. And a lot of people, you know, the police was, was just looking at me because I was just this guy staring, you know, at that. I probably at some time, they probably thought I was affiliated with it because of the fact that I would stop and watch because it was something that I was looking at from, from Katrina and coming back after Katrina and realizing that things are not the same. It's not. And, and you know, even on my DVDs, you know, Changing the Hood and Community, uh, Life at Ricky's, you know, all, all my DVDs, it, it showed within the DVDs. I mean, Katrina hit, it, it just basically changed the whole atmosphere of black people in this city. And the reason why, because people don't have morals anymore. People don't have trades, guidance, role models. Their role model is a TV. Their role model is a video game. Their role model is their friend, the closest thing to them that, that, that's, that's like dad figure, mother figure, you know. But, but me as uh, coming from circumstances to success, I can tell all my viewers out there that selling my car to help this community and help New Orleans was the best thing I ever did. And, and I had the Duff Floaters and 
winning all the car shows and winning the fame, you know, and I'm a winning person. I love to win. I don't like to lose, but if I have to lose, I, I, I just take that and come back and go back next year. But I sold that car to, to help and I brought me an 18 passenger van to help, you know, pick the young men up and young ladies up. I did that for a year, you know, and following up on a lot of kids, but I feel like when I started something, you know, once I sold my car, then I obligated my time to, to help those kids. And you know, when you start seeing all these kids with these problems, and scraping the coast, Mississippi, and man, they had a ball. Those kids enjoyed themselves. I mean, they, 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 they showed me that they missed me, you know, out there. They're like, man, Mr. Ricky, we really miss you and we want to thank you. They even love me more after the three months suspension because they didn't, nobody picked them up. Nobody didn't do what I did. I went all the way out for these kids, you know, to, to make sure that they have what they needed. And, 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 and it wasn't just about money. It wasn't about money on it. And it was on my end, it was money because I need money to buy gas, food, rides, because sometimes we didn't have people to, to bring us places. So, I mean, but to, to bring them places and, and get them in on rides and stuff. But, <sighs> I want to tell all my viewers out there that coming back and uh, saving these kids was the best thing that I ever did. And now I have a trade school. You know, I changed, I said to the youth program, we're going to pick the kids up with me having deep side audio and customs. I'm like, well, we, we, we could, what could we do to help the kids? I mean, we didn't work with the kids from 10 to 14 and, and nurse them. Now we're going to take the same kids that we mentored for the three years to help us save other kids. So it's like a nest, a nest of positive. Uh, and, and everything not gonna be positive. I mean, you kids, I done did bad stuff. It just stuff I never got caught for. But it was it was, it was was stuff that, 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 that I did as a child because we all have been bad and did some things that we, our, our uh, people who was over us as adults don't know about. So, but I, I'm, I'm saying this as, as a business owner. Now we're in 2012, I then started this new trade school. And that's what my, that was my whole vision of with the youth. How could I save them? So I did my homework and now I have a trade school. And teaching them custom work, teaching them how to paint cars, teaching them how to uh, do respiration, upholstery, uh, tent. I mean, we do a lot. We, we, we don't have, I mean, we show them how to do resistoring, wiring, relays, alarms. It's just so much you can do. I mean, you know, with a car, doing strobe lights on the police cars, uh, I mean, installing speakers, radios. We just got a whole bunch of skills, and uh, this is what I'm doing, you know, in 2012. Now, I'm taking my, my, my hands on helping these young people, and I tell everybody out there, this where I want to go is now I have 12 kids, seven, well, it's, it's like, it's, it's 20, I have 20 kids for a 10 week semester. So in a 10 week semester, 10 weeks, we would train them and that would be hands on training and also uh, physically teaching them, you know, sitting down and, and teaching to them. And that, that's how we do that. So uh, I tell all my viewers out there, this is how, you know, being successful with, with what I went through in my past, I want to help these people to get through their uh, circumstances. A lot of people don't know that. They, they like, you know, I'm not worried about helping nobody. Nobody wants to help anybody. And that's another thing. That's a big problem. I mean, that's a problem. I mean, I know you, you go through some things. I mean, you got God on your side. You're a faith believer. So if you're a faith believer, then why, why are you, 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 you scared to help me? I mean, God bless you. you everybody, you can't help. But you can help people that want help just because you're afraid. Now, love could get you killed too. So you can't show certain love, but God, trust in Him. If He put it on your heart to help someone, help them. You know, a lot of people say they know God, and they say they know God, and they say they know God. And if you know Him, what, what are you waiting for? You know, do, do your own homework. Do what you need to do as a, as a, as a helping person, as a Christ, as a, as a faithful person. So. I'm telling all my viewers out there, working with these kids and where I want to be at in the future with these young men is to give them a trade. Same trade I have that took me from 
deep side audio from from Ricky's car stereo first of all from Ricky's car stereo to deep side audio to life at Ricky's production to Ricky's every YouTube all that I want to show those people that you can do it from your circumstances to success you can do it with the things that you go through in life and your past yeah it hurts me sometimes to go all the way out for people but I'm not worried about it Sometimes you gotta go all the way out for a person. When God is using you, you don't do what you need to do. You know, and and uh, I'm, I'm struggling to get a bigger building. You know, I need a bigger building because you know helping these kids, man. To, you know, you, I have 20 now, 10 weeks. I want 200, 200 kids. You know, a lot of people like the bigger. You you gonna have the problems. No, you're not gonna just jump into big. You grow. But if you have space, like right now, we only we're in an 800 square foot building.